Hello, welcome to a new video from Cat Labs. Uh, today we'll talk about this daylight processing tank and another video that we made a couple years ago you've seen me stand on a freezing Chicago day uh, showing you how to process film without a dark room in a Jobo daylight loading tank but today we're in Boston it's only about 150 degrees out it's a million percent humidity it's a nice day and uh, we're gonna see how to process film in this tank uh, without a changing bag a dark room or any other facilities all we're gonna do is just put our chemistry in here and let's see how it's done uh, inside this tank uh, is everything that you need in order to process your film. Once you unhook it and kind of unlock everything, the tank comes apart. And in here we have a reel with a loading mechanism that's going to grab the film and a device to hold the film cartridge right in here. In the tank itself, which is light tight to enable, to enable you to load the film and then process it all the way, is a little cutting device right here. So that's gonna let us cut the cartridge and pull the cartridge out so that we can pour the chemistry in uh, and run the process. And we'll see how it's done. And this is all done in this tank. And the idea is that really you can process your film in the field or at home without the need for a dark room or a changing bag. Uh, and it's quite convenient. These are uh, readily available. I mean, they haven't been made in about 70 years. All right, so today we have some uh, 400 speed black and white film in here and we're using this medium format camera with a 35 millimeter back adapter like you might have remembered or might have seen in the other video where we were shooting a Mamiya 7 with a 35 millimeter adapter. We thought, why not go with this? By the way, this camera and, or a similar one to it is listed on our website, so you should go to www.catlabs.info and check out the cool stuff that we have for sale. Let's run through this roll and see how it works. That was the last one. All right, I just have to press that rewind button real hard. And we'll rewind the film. Here's our leader puller. Put it all the way in. Roll it back and listen for it. One. And. Two. Three, then stop and hold the cartridge, pull tab B in, and there we go is our leader. All right, so we do need, in this case, the leader tab in order to get it into the tank. Let's get the reel started. Kind of unhook it here. And pull the plug out. Put it here for convenience. In here is this metal clamp that guides the film on and behind it is the locking tab. And so what we want to do is we want to get the film over the tab and onto the reel. So, it's going to start it from the back grab it from the front. The wind is always your friend in this case. Just gonna show this to the camera. Sliding the metal bar over the film so that it locks in. And then we can kind of see how this is gonna work. And as I turn this knob, it's gonna suck the load the film onto the reel and then all the process is going to happen in the tank. Put the plug back on. I'm going to hold the cartridge so that the plug doesn't push the... holding the cartridge so that the plug doesn't push it all the way out. But we're going to need this plug later. So there it is. And here's our tank. Goes in. And I'm going to twist to lock entirely. Press the plug in. And we're going to load based on the arrow. I can hear the film loading. I'm going to put it up to the microphone so that you can hear it too. 
I'm loading very smoothly. And as soon as I feel any tension, I'm gonna stop. If I have enough, if I have tension and I twist the uh, reel further, it's gonna compress the, the film on the reel. So it's best to just roll it. Geez, you can see that we're sweating because it's a hot day. All right, we're almost there. All right, that's the tension. I can feel the tension and the film won't go anywhere. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist this knob from load to develop. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna cut the film and release the cartridge. So let's listen to it. That was the cut. And now, there's my cartridge. I'm gonna put the cartridge aside. We're gonna put the plug back in for now till we get our developer in there. This tank is now daylight safe. It's light tight. The film is all loaded inside. Let's go get the developer. Tank's ready. We have our developer at a nice 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 25 degrees Celsius, 24. And that's what we're gonna run the process. It's gonna be about four minutes for this uh, monobath type developer. Uh, and it does everything. It's everything. It's a developer, it's a fixer, it's a final rinse. We're just gonna wash the film after, but we're gonna see what we get. So let's pour it in and see how it works. There you go, it's 500 milliliters. I'm gonna get the plug back in so this doesn't slosh around. Now, the development is by rotation. So I can agitate the tank. Instead of agitating the whole tank and having it splash out, I'm just gonna agitate from here. Now, I did have a peek at my clock, and it is exactly four and 10 minutes in the afternoon, and we're gonna run this for four minutes. So something that I didn't mention before, but I should mention now, is that regardless of where this plug is, once this knob is locked, the entire tank is light tight. So the film inside is perfectly safe from light. And so we can just run our process. And I've, I've been agitating back and forth for about four minutes, which is what this monobath is calling for. And I think we're almost done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the plug out, pour the uh, monobath developer and fixer back into the beaker, and uh, let's uh, have a look at what we got. All right, there's a little funnel in here to help you kind of not make a huge mess. Drain the whole thing. All right, so it's unlocked. Moan of truth. It's looking good. It is looking good. And absolutely, it is fabulous. Uh, I'm just gonna bring this and check it out. As you can see, the film is perfectly developed. Uh, here's our film. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get this washed and give it a final rinse so that the water dries out nicely. Obviously it's getting full of dust out here in the open, so ideally you want to do this in a protected environment. This is a short video about how to use the Kodak Day Load Tank for processing film without a dark room, without a changing bag, in the field, so next time you're on assignment and you just have to have your film developed in the field, but you forgot to bring your dark room with you and use one of these. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out our other videos. I'm gonna leave the link below for the Jobo 2400 daylight loading tank so you can see how that's done with the Jobo tank. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you like this content and check out our website at www.catlabs.info.